16 turns in all. We're in the pit straight then. Button, this is one superb lap we're about to witness. 185 miles an hour down to turn one. You've really got to pick your mark and get the car turned in absolutely on the right spot. And did he do that? He's already through two. The sweeping right-hander heading down to the critical braking zone of turn three, 185 miles an hour, down five shifts. He doesn't even need all of the track look. He can switch back for turn four immediately. He mullers the curbs, clambers all over them. That's quite aggressive for Jensen's normal style. Turn five, flat out through the canopy of the trees, slightly unsighted, a critical braking zone then into turn six. Keep the nose in nice and Stamps on the throttle pedal, he's away. Turn eight, you'd never ever want to crash in air. 175 miles an hour, the bumpy braking zone of nine. It's another chicane. He's just got enough space to keep it on the road, building up then to 190 miles an hour. Ignore those white lines. You've just got to take the straightest line you can get away with. Now you're looking for a tiny piece of kerb in no man's land there. Listen to the throttle. He's absolutely fully on it. I've never seen anybody drive better through there. Down to turn 13. A relatively straightforward 90 degree right-hander. Approach from the outside, minimize the angle. Get on the throttle pedal and once again, check it on the kerb. 14 nips you on the exit and swing immediately across the road for the heavy braking zone for the hairpin. Try and keep it inside if you can. The final turn then, it opens up on the exit. You can really attack it. He's into the pit straight. A great pole position from Jensen Button.